hello everyone let's solve this problem quickly we have x to the power of 1 over 2 equal to 2 to the power of 3 minus x now the first step we are going to take is to remove this square from here to remove this power of 1 over 2 from here and we do that by squaring both sides so i'll combine this and then square right so that this will cancel this and then x will be equal to 2 to the power of 3 minus x in two places and 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 8 so we have x to be equal to 8 minus x squared then the next thing we are going to do is to expand this so we have x to be equal to open bracket 8 minus x multiplied by 8 minus x okay so x will be equal to 8 times 8 is 64 then 8 times minus x is minus 8x then minus x times 8 is minus 8x and then minus x times minus x that will give positive x squared then the next thing i'm going to do is to work on this middle term so i have x to be equal to 64 minus 8x minus 8x is minus 16x then plus x um, squared now i want to rearrange this so i have x squared okay i'm picking this first minus 16x then plus 64 is equal to x okay so i've not changed anything then the next thing i will do is to collect like terms so i have x squared minus 16x minus x this is coming to the left to become minus x then plus 64 equals 0 then the next thing i will do is um x squared then i have um minus 16x minus x okay so that will give us minus 17x then plus 64 equal to zero and now we have a quadratic equation that we can solve we are going to solve this quadratic equation using our general formula method that says x is equal to positive okay neg sorry negative b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and according to this equation our a is 1 because that's the coefficient of x squared then our b is minus 17 that is the coefficient of x and our c is the constant which is 64 okay and now the next thing to be done is to put all of this into this equation so x will be equal to minus b now becomes minus minus 17 okay that is for this minus b then i have plus or minus open bracket b squared will now be minus 17 squared and you must have this in bracket then minus we have four we have four times a a is one and then c is 64 then all of this will be over two multiplied by one okay now let's continue we are going to have x 
to be equal to negative negative is positive then positive or negative okay minus 17 squared will give us 289 then i have minus on this side i have 4 times 1 times 64 okay and that will give us 256 so I'll write 256 over here and then this is over 2 okay and then if I take a step further x will be equal to 17 positive or negative then I have um, 289 minus 256 and it's giving us some um, 33 okay so this will be over 2 right so now if we continue with this okay so we're going to have x to be equal to 17 positive okay i will break it into two now so we have 17 plus square root of 33 over 2 then or i'll pick 17 again 17 minus square root of 33 all over 2 okay so this is what we do and if we want to continue with this we will now have x to be equal to i don't want us to break um <clears throat> square root of 33 because 33 is not a perfect square so we're going to have 17 over 2 plus square root of 33 over 2 or on this side i have 17 minus okay 17 over 2 then minus square root of 33 over 2 this is negative so this will be the two roots of x in that equation thank you for watching